Wales or whether you think climate change protesters have gone too far. 0207 862 222 is the number. Tell us what you think. Climate activists from a group called the Insulate Britain Group caused major disruption by blocking several junctions of the M25 during yesterday's rush hour. Protesters sat in front of vehicles at junctions and caused some cars to be stuck for four hours. Look at that. It's reported 78 people have been arrested. They're calling on the Prime Minister to tackle global warming by pumping funding into household energy uses and efficiency. But it won a lot of insulation. It was a, if you look, watched on the news, it was kind of like an insulation protest. Mm. So I'll show you the M25 now. You're very familiar with this, Ian. Yeah. I know you spend a lot of time on it. And what they did actually tactically was they, they blocked a number of slip roads. So this was organised. So they started with Junction 3 at Swanley. And then they swooped in... This is like the Bond film. Junction 6 in Godston. They then, and this one would have caused real disruption. One. This is the bad one, because that's Heathrow, 14. Junction 20, Hemel Hempstead, they then blocked as well. Junction 31, Lakeside, which is down there. So all of they, for some reason, they left that bit unscathed. But, but, you know, the world's burning, Shay. It's absolutely ridiculous, Jeremy, and I am completely livid because I was affected by this yesterday. My three-year-old daughter, Tyra, has a very bad ear infection. I need to get medication. What would have Ooh, normally taken Show me, me, show me. Where were you? Uh, just, well, near Junction 14. OK. Ah, so, so, uh, OK. Slap bang in the middle of it all. What, on the M4 or something? Uh, on the M25. M so you, yeah. you come in this way, do you? Yeah, 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 exactly. And what should have taken me 20, 25 minutes, let's say, in, in normal traffic, took an hour and 20 minutes. Right. And I am livid because for any of these people who think it's OK to protest on a motorway like this in the way that they have, they have no consideration for human lives, no consideration whatsoever as to how it's impacting all of us. If you want to make and you want to protest, I'm all for protest. I think freedom of speech is one of the most beautiful things that we have in this country. But why not do it where it matters? Go to the House of Parliament, affect the MPs and, and get them to realise what you're going through why are you disrupting our lives so much that not just me but thousands of people were really affected by this what do you think, Ian? it well, doesn't the, achieve anything in the, my the eyes the point is i can't imagine a single person watching this program now thinking to yeah. themselves oh i think i'll support their cause because of no. that uh, and also think of the emissions that would have been caused exactly. by all of those cars idling okay some of them will switch their engines off but it will have actually increased emissions as yeah. a result but the main point is, what on earth were the police doing? Because most of these protests were like 10, 15... You can see it there. 10, 15 people, and the police just stand there and look at them. They are committing an offence. Mm, Get them off, off the motorway, arrest them, and well, they can go through the due process of There was bizarre footage yesterday. I don't know if you saw it, of a driver deciding to pull Oof. them away from the But that's the what road. we're going to get. If the police and don't the do their job... The driver pulled them away, and then he got arrested. Yeah. But, that, but that's the frustrating thing. We're not talking about... I'll give you another scenario. Um, our family, very fortunately, we've had another baby born in the family, and they were trying to travel back home and luckily this baby is being breastfed. However, the, the planned journey was meant to be an hour and 10 minutes. They were sat in the car for four hours mm. with a four-week-old baby. This is the kind of things that these individuals are not thinking about. What is a parent meant to do? I can understand why a driver would say enough is enough and, and get out of the car well, and try to do let, something. Let's talk to Baroness Jenny Jones of the Green Party because, Jenny, you, you, can, you can give us the case for this protest. There's no for this. Person. Well, um, to, to be quite honest, um, I do support these people. So Ian Dale is completely wrong that somebody watching this programme isn't supporting them because they're actually doing it for all of us. Now, I take Shay's point about the disruption and how unfair it is. But if you think that these people are talking about 20, 29 million homes that need insulation, that's, that is... A huge impact in Britain. Um, I personally can probably must have gone question? on this. Okay, Jenny, hang on. Je Shay, sorry, sorry. I need to ask sorry, you a question. Je Je just a sec, Jenny. Shay's asking you a question. I, I need to ask you a question because I think it's great. We can all throw statistics and let me be clear when I say I am 100% behind those individuals who are trying to raise awareness when it comes to the climate crisis and when it comes to what you're talking about. But have you ever had roads blocked outside your house when you need to go urgently to get medication? How would you feel? Are you telling me you'd be sat there calmly saying, this is just fine, we need to think about what's happening when it comes to insulating our homes? You definitely would not. 
Jay, I heard you say all this earlier, and I'm really sympathetic, but quite honestly, you my also question. asked the you question. My should, question. You, you, you also my question. said, on, if I can Jay. finish what I'm saying, you also said, why aren't they sitting outside Parliament and forcing MPs to do something about it? The fact is, we have tried all those routes. Not this group, perhaps, but other groups. We've tried, and MPs are ignoring us. When you have a... a, a, a a Tory government that has an 80 plus majority, they can basically do what they like. And that's what they're Happy doing. They are, to be sat outside the climate, your house? they are not taking the climate emergency seriously. And these people in Slate Britain, they're actually saying to us all, it's it's infuriating disruption for um, a few hundred or a few thousand, I don't know it's how many hundreds. people are impacted. I mean, that's ridi what ridiculous boy, statement. Hang climate, hang the climate emergency is going to impact millions. It's already impacting billions of people. Me something and if we know. don't start taking it seriously, no, if the government... It, the fact that this is now on TV, we're all talking about it. I mean, you're all angry about it. I'm angry about it as well. And I'm angry about no one taking supports it seriously. Them. That's the point. Let's, so, so Shay says got no one supports well, Jenny. Well, what happens in a scenario like this is it ends up going from the actual conversation, which is what we should be having, and this I do actually agree with you, you on, that, yeah. is what we should be doing around insulation. I agree. But what ends up happening now is everyone is upset, and it's thousands of people, not hundreds, let's be clear on that, who have been affected by this, and they just switch off and they say, I don't even want to discuss anything to do with insulation, to do with climate crisis. I don't want to know. Is so the, actually, is it's the, the polar problem, opposite that's all right, happened. The, 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 most journeys are less than three miles. The journey you were taking yesterday, was that a long journey? It was a long journey what, because like I had five, to get... five, six miles? Yeah, or? because I had to get the medication. Right. And as I've just said, you I had family members... Yeah. I did need to make it. And I had a family member coming back home who needed to make okay. it. And there were many others. We're not talking about those individuals who are working 10, 12-hour shifts if they've been based at Heathrow. They right. need to get home. Why are they always the ones that get targeted? When they want to get home well, the also, let's, work. let's look at the issue. Uh, what Jenny hasn't told us, of course, is that the government is spending £1.3 billion on enabling people to insulate their homes. Now, we can all say that's not enough. It should be more. But when you look at what Britain has done as a country over the last 10 or 15 years in terms of uh, climate change and, and anti-climate change measures, we have done far more in terms of carbon reduction than any of our competitors in Europe. Do I ever hear Jenny Jones or anyone from the Green Party He's saying, well, actually, we have been leading Europe in this. No, they make out that we are the worst performers on the environment, and it's a simple lie. Jenny. I'm so sorry, Ian, but you are completely wrong on this. Uh, the government, it's true, does say that we're world leaders, blah, 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 on reducing our carbon emissions. But the way they did that was to fiddle the figures. So what they did, they did not include shipping and aviation. No, and they any also other didn't ensure... They also didn't include all the offshore costs. Every time we import something from China or from India, we are not calculating no, right. those Nor does any other country. Well, I'm, I'm comparing we like with like. You're terrible. not typically trying to twist the facts. Oh, I am not. I, I, I have got to say I'm probably one of the most honest politicians <laughs> you've ever talked to. But the point is, we are not world leading. In fact, the UK is the last in Europe for sales of energy efficient heat pumps. Okay. The last has, in Europe. Have we, other have countries we, have we or so have we more. not cut carbon emissions more than any other uh, bigger country in Europe? The answer is yes. You can't deny that. No, <laughs> we haven't. The I mean, the okay. government now has agreed to include shipping and aviation. I mean, all those flights out to Heathrow and so on. They have agreed to do that. That's progress, and I'm very glad, and I've told the government I'm very glad about it. But at the same time, they cannot claim to be world leaders. Okay. We, we are abysmal. We want to see what the cause are saying. Storm. We're going to speak to Victor now from Hampshire, who thinks the protesters have gone too far. Too far, Victor. Jeremy, good morning, team. Good morning. Um, yes, I think the, the, process, the protests are an absolute disgrace. The UK as the panellists have said, leads the world in its drive for zero carbon. Um, and yet the protesters continue to disrupt the everyday lives of people trying to go to work, as has been mentioned, people trying to get to hospital, pick up medication. Exactly. If they want to make a difference, why don't they protest or chain themselves to the Chinese embassy, which is responsible right. for 28% of global emissions? The UK is responsible for less than 1%. Um, they, they're targeting their efforts totally in the wrong place. Um, I personally believe this is not a protest about climate. It's a classic anarchist 
um, protest and it's protesting for the sake of it. All right. Well, I, I've never seen an anarchist down. wearing high vis before, so that, that <laughs> they may not. Be Thank you, Victor. Storm. Bit of a defence here for the protesters from Ian from North Ayrshire. So, Ian, what would you say to Victor? Um, well, uh, 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 we haven't been formally introduced. <laughs> it doesn't matter on this show. <laughs> right. OK. Let me make a serious point here. Um, the, the, the government is opening one of the biggest coal mines in the country against the protests of the locals who don't want this uh, massive coal uh, mine open. Right. So on the other side of the coin, we, we have uh, the, go the government r raising the heating costs of this country disproportionately to income when, in fact, 20, the, your earlier caller said 28% of global warming is uh, produced by the Chinese. So if you took a hair off your head, just to use this analogy, if you took a hair off your head and measured it in quantity against the rest of the hairs, that's the impact that Britain's uh, economy um, so Ian, I don't know what... Are you saying the protests are a good thing or a bad thing? They're a good thing because the people who are sitting in Parliament have an uh, 80, 80 majority, and we live in a democracy where the people get... Uh, they nominate uh, an MP for election. So unless it hurts the MP... He or she and they will do nothing about the protests. OK, Ian, thank you. Storm? We're going to speak to Kathleen now from Birmingham, who thinks these protests were too disruptive. Too, too much. Well, t tell Jenny that, Kathleen. Um, hello, Jenny. Um, good morning. Um, yes, they, um, I agree with what Shay was saying, um, that you put people's lives at risk yesterday. Not only that, but the people that are protesting and lying on the ground are also putting their lives at risk. Also, the fact if one of those protesters wanted a, had a heart attack and they would expect the emergency services mm. to go and help them, and yet you don't really care about putting people's lives at risk, I, even your own life. I agree that people have the right to protest, but people have the right to protest in a peaceful way. Absolutely, and I know Kathleen. that you've got to get your message out there, but when you think that all of those people that were on okay. the ground yesterday Je could have had a heart attack, Kath Kathleen, could have had been serious. Uh, let's Sorry. let Jenny answer. She wasn't at the protest, but let's let her answer that. I wasn't brave enough to be at the protest, but I didn't know it anyway. Uh, about it anyway. <clears throat> I can only say that climate emergency is coming at us very fast. We have already seen flash floods. We've seen our tube flooded in London. We're seeing um, shortages of food all over the world. The climate emergency so uh, outweighs all of this. I am sympathetic to the people who got stuck on the motorway, but what they should be doing is lobbying their MPs and not complaining about the protesters because the protesters were actually fighting for the rights of people who are stuck in fuel poverty in drafty, cold, damp homes. And I think that that counts for a huge amount. I don't think it's cut in the ice with Shay here. No, it hasn't. I, uh, as I said earlier on, I completely understand your perspective around what we all can be and should be doing when it comes yep. to the climate crisis. But you still don't seem to understand. And you haven't actually answered my question, Jenny. If this was happening at your doorstep, you would not be supporting these protests because you would know what it feels like when it impacts your life, whether it's one hour or four hours. Okay. She cycles everywhere, so she wouldn't be bothered at all <laughs> if the road was blocked. I think we've got a Pause there. Sorry, Ian. I only want to come back in. Kathleen, uh, thank you on the phone. Thanks, Jenny Jones, Baroness Jones as well for the Green Party. Later, our stories of the day, including why some top schools are planning to reserve places for poorer pupils and why there could be a possible shortage of toys this Christmas. But after the break, are you bored of the James Bond hype? A big